welcome to Bank Holiday Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Um, we're going to look at today's cryptic crossword from the Times. Um, I've just had a look at the stats for this puzzle, um, which reveal that it looks like it might be quite tricky because the quickest times, I believe, are around 10 minutes. So this is not um, going to be easy. Anyway, let's have a look. Green gunk skimmed. Oh, goodness me. Um, green. Naive, Vert, don't know. Um, Superman's girl, that must be Lois, is about to drop Italian dish. Okay, Lois Lane is about sag. If I put lane about sag, I get lasagna, which is a, an Italian dish. Let's go back here. Green gunk skimmed. Green. Lime. Gunk is slime, and skimmed, you take the top off something when you skim it. So, okay, that looks good. Having had a few seconds, one brushed up on geometry in the end. Having had a few... That must be the definition, having had a few, because that sounds like you're sozzled or something like that. And then seconds will be this S. One brushed up on geometry in the end. Squiffy or something like that. One brushed up is a quiff. <laughs> that is a lovely clue. And you see how careful one had to... Uh, called one carefully, one had to read it. So it's very easy to just read. Look at this comma in the clue and read to the comma. So having had a few seconds, one brushed up on geometry in the end. But I probably did read it that way first time round. Um, so never believe punctuation. Uh, always be sceptical, uh, and that will hold you in good stead. Three down. Entire amount repellent. The gross. Just a double definition prepared to believe it. Mink possibly, it looks like fashion something maybe. Clothing slave. Fashion horse. Fashion. Mink possibly. Uh, not sure. Uh, large tomb, mausoleum probably. Parent bagging a posh one, a posh soul, and mum. So it's mum there, around the air for parent, bagging, i.e. surrounding, a, that's this a, posh, u is often an abbreviation for posh, as in upper class, and then uh, one is soul, s-o-l-e there. Right, flag yours truly raised, well yours truly that's normally me. If you say yours truly in a sentence, you're, you're referring to yourself. So I'm thinking this might begin E-M-E -E without going any further. With America, hmm, retaining title. Flag. Title. I should be. I should be thinking. I should be solving that, and I'm not. Um, so that's just my my bad. Um, male feeding horses in book. I never like seeing in book in um, crossword clues because it, you know the books of the Bible are so legion that you know there are so many options. Hmm. Male feeding horses. Male can be abbreviations abbreviated to M. That could be this M. If that's fed to a, a word for horses, a five-letter word that means horses. Um, Arabs, Romans, Romans. It is a book of the Bible. Wow, um, that's that's a reasonable solve. Um, rubbish plant used as dessert. Rubbish. Maybe that's rot here. Rhubarb? 
Yeah, I think rhubarb actually. I think if something is rhubarb, it's rubbish. Um, and then obviously it's a plant used for making crumble. Fun, unfortunately, suffering for sure. Well, fun, unfortunately, I'm thinking that's an anagram of the word fun, which would be a nice start to a word, UNF. Suffering, okay, something could be ailing. If something is for sure, it's unfailing, so not too bad. Way to stuff a European champion. Way to stuff a European. This probably ends in E for European, so A E around the word that means way. And the whole thing will be a champion, which is a apostle or a hmm, not sure. Fine, no longer having clean teeth. I'm no longer having. I want this to be floss. <laughs> um, F can be fine. And then I'm trying to think of a part of speech in which no longer or no longer having can mean loss. And then clean teeth can obviously be, a, you know, can be, the verb floss can be clean teeth. So, uh, American man crushing queen like a snake. American man. There is a short word, bow, which I think, B-O, which can be an American man. Um, actually, de it's actually defined as a, a man rather than just the name. Presumably, there are people called bow. Um, bow Derrick, I think, was a a lady, so right. Several lo loons. I can do that. That's divers. Uh, this word, you know, diverse and diverse with an e at the end, um, are quite commonly seen in crosswords. This this means several. Obviously, loons are types of diving birds. So, I issued new clasps good for mask. Okay. Well, here. This looks like I issued, or I issued, and then an N for, oh, I know, how about just an anagram of I issued, clasping a G uh, for good. Um, and then that's going to be for a mask, which is going to be disguise. Should have got more quickly. 20 down. Trying exotic Eskimo roles initially. Well, here I'm thinking this is an anagram of Eskimo and R. Um, trying irksome. Let's try and use the K. Silly Eccles Thick or a serious jerk. Well, we need how many? We need 13 letters. So we can, uh, if we go. Eccles is six, thick is five, so that's eleven plus the all there. That would give us thirteen. And the answer is going to be a serious jerk. So it's going to be something like I think it's going to be some sort of muscle pull or tweak or something like that. Um, serious jerk. Something quick. No, heart of stone, a shade, open. Okay, heart of stone is the letter O, middle letter, and then a shade, well, because I was thinking of green earlier, I think vert popped into my brain fairly quickly, and open is overt. Let's try 16 down. Lean man, legal official. Lean man, legal official. Mm, not sure. Idiot with fanciful idea, penning articles. Well, fanciful idea, I'm thinking that might be an anagram of the word idea. And then putting that around articles, well, need, articles is plural here, which is a bit annoying. It's 
quite hard with this construction in the middle. I can see how the could go in, but that would obviously only be a singular definite article. Slip small on the child. Slip. It looks like small would be S, and then a three letter word for a child to give a whole thing that means slip. Mm, kid, skid. So idea going around the edge still looks quite good here, doesn't it? So what could this be? Idiot fat head or something like that. Ha! Ah. <laughs> no, it wasn't an anagram idea. And a fanciful idea is a fad. And that's penning articles, so it's penning A, the indefinite article, and the the definite article. Right. Lean. How about uh, Lean Man Legal Official Tip Star? Yes, if you lean, you tip. And if you man, um, you staff. And tip staff is a legal official. So difficult clue. Um, or at least I think I think that is a difficult clue because I think that the meanings of the words required, when you read the words lean man here, to think of lean as meaning tip and man as meaning staff is very, it requires, I don't know, something to fracture in your brain a little bit. And that's for that reason I think it's clever. Uh, Labouring, we do in the beginning. Spade work, perhaps. I think, I think that's just a pun. Um, you do the spade work at the start of something. Chinese food that's totally stupid. That looks like dim sum. Um, because if you were the sum of all the dims, you would be totally stupid. And again, I think that's another pun there. And what's this anagram? Um, culture shock or serious jerk it must be something shock electric shock probably yeah I think it is electric shock looks like that works with the anagram um, okay let's put fashion in up here I'm pretty sure that's right this looks like emeritus doesn't it oh Let's just put that in. Um, I like the answer. I thought that was a title. I don't know, I don't know whether to trust that. A ne'er do well has to settle a fight. Lay about? To settle is to lay. And a and then about is in a boxing bout. That would be a fight. That fits with. I'm just going to remove those two letters there. I'm a little nervous about them. Um, hmm. Flexible parts to deliver, chattering away. Flexible parts to deliver. Okay, clever surface, I think. The way I think we need to read this, if we can think of a word for flexible, and I can, that would fit here, lies would be flexible. And that is now parting, I'm hoping, a five letter word that will mean. Uh, deliver, and the whole thing will mean chattering away, which so it could be blithering. <laughs> could be right, couldn't it? A blithering idiot is an expression, but whether the blithering is is because he's chattering away sort of nonsensically, I quite like that. Let's go for 
material that's checked poorly leaving Medway Town. Material that's checked. Gingham. Gillingham. Gosh, that's difficult. That's, so it's Gillingham without ill. <laughs> um, gingham obviously is a type of checked material. So I appreciate that probably seems absurd. Um, head of playwright, missing, commit to the ground. Okay, well Harold Pinter without his head, without his first letter. Um, would give inter, which is obviously to commit to the ground. Excellent advice, corporation re rejected. Tip top. Like that. Advice would be a tip. Corporation, yeah, I think corporation could be a word for your belly, and a popped belly is a type of belly, so I'm going to go for tip top there, and this looks like Preston now. It is, Northern English city. Fast approaching. Northern. Presto is means fast in musical uh, sort of connotation. And then Northern N and then English City is Preston. Let's try and blowtorch this looks like. So wind light, it's scorcher. Wind is a blow. If you light something, you torch it, and the blowtorch is something that scorches. So we're making reasonable progress. Um, oh, but, but with We've looked at all these before. So mink, possibly, clothing, slave. I've never really got to the grips of what this is talking about with mink, possibly. Clothing, slave is a fashion, I want to say something like fashion pony or And this is my clean teeth one. Fine no longer. Way to stuff a European champion. Of course, this all assumes rhubarb is correct, but I think it is. I just think all um, the reason I was thinking that was a European. I was wondering whether that could be, you know, the French or the German word for a. So un a or ein, einer. Way to stuff a champion. Possible. Champion is an advocate. American man, crushing queen like a snake. Lower. Wow. <laughs> I can't think of anything that would be boa constrictor related that would fit. Um, maybe this is why this puzzle is difficult because this top right hand corner is a bit intractable. Fine, no longer having clean teeth. Clean teeth. Hmm. Way to stuff. Way could be avenue. S T R D. Lane. A European champion. Avenger. Five letter word for a way. Um, yeah. I think 
could be named the god or a goddess. Astarte. S T A R T E. Way. I don't think of way as a starch, really. Um, hmm. Mink, possibly. Clothing slave. Clothing could be fashion. And then a slave would be a slave question mark. Um, fashion victim. Slave, is that a victim? Mink could be a victim of fashion, I guess, if they're killed for their coat. Fashion victim. If this was floss, this could be apostle still. Why? Where, oh gosh, okay. A pole, as in someone from Poland, and it's way ST to the street inside. So this does still look like floss. Uh, Bushmaster, isn't that a type of. Isn't Bushmaster a type of snake? Why is this Bushmaster? American man. Buster? Is that an American man? I suppose you might say Buster, Her Majesty, as, and it's, as, gosh, my word. Okay, so it's an American man's name, as in Buster. Surrounding, as in crushing. Queen, Her Majesty, HM. Like, as, AS. And the whole clue, the def definition is a snake. Um, you can question whether that indefinite article there in the clue is necessary. Um, certainly it's a little misleading, I think. Um, so this does look like floss. Fine, no longer having clean teeth. Fine, no longer having. Something no longer. I don't understand it. I think I'm missing something there, but I, I, I don't, I'm not having any other clever ideas as to what it is. And similarly with this one, yours truly raised, that looks like me, definitely. With America, US, retaining, so I need a four letter word for a title here. And you can obviously see if I put in what I want to put in. Then the title would have to be E R I T, Erit. And I don't get that at all. Taking title, Amir. M. Let's go to the camera, but it wouldn't. Ah, hang on. Let's go back to Emeritus. Ah, title, retaining title. I think I think I'm going to have to think about this. I'm going to go with emeritus, simply because I think. Oh no, flag is tire. Oh gosh, I was being really stupid this morning. So flag yours truly is tire me. That's all raised, so that raised there, I got obsessed with raising the me at the start here. Whereas actually it's tire me raised with US, and the title is emeritus. So there we go. 
So the only one I'm a little bit unsure about now, I think, is the plus answer. Let's have a look. Let's see whether. Yeah, it's right, so that's good. It's just um no longer having what I might do is just load up the uh, dictionary and see if um there's any sense in which loss can be no longer having something lost. I mean, is it one of these examples where you're trying to say a no longer having, i.e. the state of no longer having, would be the state of loss, a no longer having? Yeah, see, having as a noun. I think I think that's what's being got at. I think this may be the same setter who um, there was a puzzle in the Times final last year that used this sort of part of speech, and it's just so difficult for me to see it um, that you know it took me sort of many many read throughs to think that it could possibly be correct. Here, I, I think I can see see it as just about fair, although very very difficult. Um, which other ones did I want to just think about a bit more? Fashion victim, spade work, wasn't it? Oh, that is actually spade work. That is actually a quite exceptional clue. Let's look, go back to this clue 26 across. Um, I said, I sort of dismissively wrote it in and said, oh yes, cryptic uh, definition pun type thing because we do labouring at the beginning. Uh, I was doing a massive disservice to this clue. If we look at it now, labouring is being used as an anagram indicator uh, for the word we words we and do, you can see them anagrammed in the middle there, of a word that means beginning, which is a spark. Um, and the whole thing is being defined uh, by labouring we do in the beginning, so it's, it's called an analytic clue, i.e. the whole clue is serving as a definition and the whole clue is serving as wordplay as well. Fabulous, that's one of the best clues I've seen in the last month. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and sort of confirms my feeling as I was solving this that this was, uh, this was a seriously clever uh, setter um, showing us his skills or her skills. So thank you for watching. A uh, slightly longer video today um, but I always think that it's worth doing one of these um, longer run-throughs at least once a week. Um, so do let us know in the comments if you enjoy them and we'll see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic.